Didoptera just solved the very difficult problem of creating a long-range, low-priced TV? If the answer is yes, then there is about to be a paradigm shift in the auto industry towards leaner, greener, meaner cars. Aptera starts at just 25,900 and has range options between 250 and 1,000 miles, with 400 miles being the most popular choice. That one starts at 29,800. Use the link below to save $30 on the $100 deposit for an Aptera pre-order. Is Aptera the best valued EV of all time? Does any other vehicle come close? Watch till the end to find out. Pay 66 grand and expect an average of 234 miles. That's the average price for a new EV in June 2022 and the average range of all the 2021 model years for the US market. 66 grand, 234 miles. These are not inspiring figures. It doesn't make you want to run down to a dealership today to buy an EV. It feels like a compromise. Pay luxury prices for a lackluster range. But is a long-range EV actually necessary? Well, America is a relatively big place compared to, say, smaller places. Cities can be a bit spread out, and most areas of the country either have hot summers or cold winters, or both. In the winter, batteries lose around 12% of range on the low end and up to 41% when the heater is at full blast. In the summer, the AC can lead to a loss of 17% in range. So yes, there are super practical reasons for wanting EVs with better ranges than what's available today. And people do want EVs. According to Consumer Reports, in early 2022, 36% of Americans would either definitely buy or lease or seriously consider buying or leasing an EV. In a AAA survey, 96% of current EV owners said they would buy or lease an EV for their next new vehicle. So, the general attitude towards EVs is changing. The tipping point in which the number of EVs sold will outnumber the number of ICE cars sold is coming soon, with various estimates putting it between 2025 and 2030. EVs aren't for early adopters anymore. They've gone mainstream. Even Dodge is getting in on this. I mean, Dodge. But when all is said and done, there are two things EV buyers consistently care most about. Price and range, range and price. So who wins at the range game? How many vehicles are available now that have 400 miles or more of range? There's the Tesla Model S, which has a 405 mile EPA range with the standard Tempest wheels. Delivery time is currently zero to three months and the vehicle is priced at $104,990. Then there's the Lucid Air Dream Edition that starts at $169,000 and has an EPA range of up to 520 miles but they've closed off reservations. Of the air models that are still available to pre-order, the EPA ranges are between 406 and 516 miles and sticker prices from $87,400 for the Air Pure Edition up to $154,000 for the Air Grand Touring. Lucid has more than 30,000 reservations for its vehicles and is expected to deliver a total of six to 7,000 vehicles by the end of 2022. So, wait times are a bit longer than the Tesla Model S. And by a bit, I mean a lot. Then there is a bunch of upcoming vehicles, none of which are particularly affordable, that have ranges above 400 miles. There are offerings such as the Cadillac Celestic, the Chevy Silverado, the GMC Sierra, the Lucid Gravity, and the Tesla Cybertruck and Roadster. A big upfront cost is a deal breaker for would-be EV buyers. So, who comes in as the low price variants? More specifically, what vehicles can you buy in the US for under 30 grand with at least 200 miles of range? Well, the Nissan Leaf doesn't quite make that list. It's $28,040 for 150 miles of range. The SV Plus version is eight grand more for a total of $36,040 and 212 miles of range. Really, the only somewhat long range, low priced EVs available now are the Chevy Bolt EV and the EUV with starting prices of $25,600 and $27,200 and ranges of 259 and 247 miles respectively. So we have a Venn diagram here, vehicles with 400 miles of range or more and vehicles priced under 30 grand. Well, no vehicle matches both of these, except for one, and that would be Aptera. For $29,800, you've got a vehicle with 400 miles of range, 
who would have thought that making the most efficient vehicle ever would pay off? With 400 miles, you can just do more, like have a real usable range in bad weather, blasting the heat or AC, not needing to limit your speed and headwinds or to conserve range, or just smashing the accelerator pedal whenever you feel like it. Speaking of smashing things, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Sure, you can drive Aptera very conservatively to maximize range, but with 400 miles, you have a little more leeway. And if you don't need that much leeway, another good choice is the 250 mile range at $25,900. That being said, if you really want to go all in and have the vehicle with the most range on the block, the 600 mile range is $34,600 and the 1,000 mile range is $44,900. And even at that top price range, it's $21,000 less than the average EV in the US. So it's kind of no contest. Aptero wins the game for having the lowest price with the highest range. Thank you everyone else for participating. Please collect your participation trophy on your way out the door. But what about after you buy the vehicle? What do things like charging, maintenance, and repair costs add up to? If range anxiety hasn't already received an appropriate enough smackdown by Aptera, then there's also the charging anxiety smackdown for a total KO. Longer range means charging less. Getting 11,000 miles of free charging a year with the full solar package significantly reduces charging needs. Not having to worry about charging all the time is a pretty nice. Just park the car anywhere, like at school, work, the grocery store, an apartment complex, a condo, on-street parking, or just wherever outside cars are parked, and let the sun do its thing. If you travel less than 11,000 miles a year and take full advantage of the sun, you might be totally set. If you drive a little more a year, say the average of 15,000 miles, the additional cost depends on how much you pay per kilowatt hour. Charging exclusively at home to get those extra 4,000 miles could be anywhere from 20 bucks on the low end to 80 bucks on the high end. On average, expect to pay 50 bucks for the year to charge at home. Don't forget that many EV owners go to the trouble of installing a level two charger, which can be anywhere between $800 and a few thousand dollars. And in the case of the F-150 Lightning home integration system, it's more like 12 to $15,000 all in. Aptera is so efficient that it charges plenty fast on a standard 110 volt outlet, roughly 13 miles per hour or 150 miles overnight. Not having to worry about installing a level two charger makes Aptera easier to own. As long as you have access to a standard 110 volt outlet, you can charge up plenty overnight. And what could you expect to spend on public charging? The average EV owner today completes 92% of charging at home and visits a DC fast charger an average of six times per year. So let's drop that $50 figure from earlier down to $46 for the cost to charge Aptera at home. And a DC fast charging session averages 10 to 30 bucks. With Aptera's lower consumption needs and the ability to get 100 miles in 10 minutes at a DC fast charger, you'd figure a typical visit is more like $10 than 30. And since the range is better than an average EV, and solar charging is doing most of the heavy lifting, there would be fewer visits, say two. That's two visits at $10 or 20 bucks, plus the $46 to charge at home, which comes to $66 a year, or $5.50 a month. If you rely on solar charging exactly 0% of the time, it's more like $203 a year for 15,000 miles between home and public charging. Either way, that's a heck of a lot less than the $400 the average Chevy Bolt owner spends, or the $546 the average compact EV owner spends, or especially a heck of a lot less than the $2,200 that the average ICE car owner spends a year on unleaded gasoline. But hey, at least it's unleaded. What about maintenance and repair costs? Aptera is a simpler vehicle with less moving parts and less parts, period. Aptera comes with a standard warranty the details of which will be announced closer to next year's production. A simpler build is not only better from a manufacturing standpoint, but also from a repairability standpoint. If you do end up needing to repair Aptera out of warranty or without involving an Aptera technician, the company's right to repair stance is transformative. Aptera will ship you any part you need within a day and give you all the info on how you or a mechanic can repair it. 
This means you don't have to live in an area near a service center or covered by an Aptera mobile mechanic to keep your vehicle up and running. According to Consumer Reports, EVs cost less than half to maintain compared to ICE cars. Maintenance costs for Aptera are expected to be even less than the average EV due to the vehicle's simplicity, robust design and materials, and manufacturing process. Aptera is built to last and be passed down from one generation to the next, so the right to repair is of particular importance when considering long-term ownership. Repair costs, maintenance costs, and refueling costs can be very expensive on ICE cars and still fairly costly on other EVs. But Aptera has found a way to not only be affordable on the day of purchase, but also having a much better total cost of ownership. Not only is it hundreds of dollars less to charge than the average EV, it's easier to maintain. If switching from ICE cars to EVs saves you an average of six dollars to $10,000 over the life of the vehicle, then switching from ICE cars to Aptera, a vehicle that's driven by the sun and is at least three times more efficient than the average EV, will save you tens of thousands of dollars over the life of the vehicle. This makes Aptera the best bang for your buck of any vehicle you can buy. To reserve an Aptera, please use the link below to save $30 on the $100 deposit. Thank you very much to our members for supporting the channel, and we'll see you at the racetrack.